after the president announced from the Rose Garden that the shutdown was at an end. This is what he said. Thank you. He must be gutted, mustn't he? He must have been fucking loving that shutdown. Fuck all to do all day except eat McDonald's whilst masturbating to Fox News. He must have loved it. And what a speech. D really, Tim? Oh, mate, you missed the classic. It's, it's the nearest I've ever seen to Trump going, oh, I think I might have fucked this up. It's great, but the, the best thing, right, the best thing was that you could, you could see the reflection of the auto cue in the Oval Office window behind him. Yes, yeah, seriously, so when it stopped, you could just tell he was kind of riffing. And, and in those moments, it was, it was a, a wonderful trip through the mind of a madman. Honestly, he said, he said he didn't want to build a medieval wall. Um, he said he wants to build smart walls that are operationally effective. So that's, that's good. Um, he wants steel barriers that have see-through visibility. Don't know. Then, then he said he wants a powerful wall. Then he said it won't be a wall at all and that he never asked for a wall in the first place, right? So now it's not really build the wall. Now it's build the barriers, fences and walls. It's not quite got the same ring to it, has it? It's, it's, it's like changing lock her up to could you have a polite word with her please, isn't it really? Then he, then he said that a new plan would include desperately needed humanitarian assistance for those being exploited and abused by coyotes. He wants five billion. How big are these fucking coyotes? Now, then he said that drug abuse costs the US $700 billion a year, okay? And he was actually bang on the fucking money. He's, I mean, he's bang on, 700 billion. 630 billion of which goes on tobacco, alcohol, and prescription drug addiction, okay? So 90% of heroin coming into the United States enters through the southern border. Again, bang on, absolutely correct, Mr. President. Almost all of that through legal ports of entry, okay? Most fentanyl arrives in the US through the mail from China, you know, but don't worry, okay, because once he's got his partial fence see-through metal power wall thing, he believes drugs will be cut, and I quote, by a number that no one will believe. And then he said this. He said that human trafficking at present is the worst in human history, ever. M millions of Africans. In, in chains, no picking cotton. No, you, you train them up and set them to work. You know, genocide, really, wasn't it? Millions of them, no? No, you don't, oh, you're sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of course, they, they weren't hot women tied up with duct tape. It's different, is it? Yeah, yeah. Tim, we also learnt that Mr. President, he's got a bit of a thing for duct tape. You just don't watch it, Tim, I'm fucking serious, it's grim. Poor Melania, poor cow. I, I wonder why he decided to fold when he did, dum, 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 another one bites dust. Dum, 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 another one bites dust. Roger Stone, one time aide to Nixon, bites the dust. Yeah, as witch hunts go, I mean, the more people that get arrested, plead guilty, go to prison, the more ridiculous witch hunt sounds. You know, sounds almost as ridiculous as Trump winning the presidency by promising Mexico would pay for a wall. Uh, yes, yeah. Well, one of the toughest days in President Trump's presidency.